What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have some more updates regarding the Bret Hart Attackers case from the WWE Hall of Fame 2019. As we reported I think three or four days ago, you guys know if you watched the Hall of Fame. If you didn't, I'm sure every WWE fan in the world has known about it by now. But at the WWE Hall of Fame, this man, Zachary Madsen from Lincoln, Nebraska, I do believe, I know he's from Nebraska, he apparently jumped the barricade. Well, it's not allegedly. We all witnessed it. He, he comes up and he just attacks Bret Hart out of nowhere as he's inducting his lifelong tag team partner, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, with his uh, niece, Natalia, and, um, you know, he, he's just sitting there giving the speech. Zachary jumps the barricade or whatever and tackles Brett, and then he was then, you know, attacked by so many wrestlers and Ronda Rousey's husband slash boyfriend, whatever he is, and everybody just losing their mind on the man as they should. But we have another update on the matter as reported by NewYorkPost.com. We have an article here. It says, The crazed wrestling fan who attacked Brett the Hitman hard during his WWE Hall of Fame speech thought it was the right moment to go after the wrestling legend. It was revealed in court Sunday. I just felt like it was the right moment, Zachary Madsen told police. Prosecutors said in court, Madsen allegedly rushed past the barricade and tackled Hart and a WWE security guard during the Hall of Fame ceremony at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn on Saturday night. Madsen of Lincoln, Nebraska, was ordered held on $1,500 bond at his arraignment on assault and criminal trespassing charges in Brooklyn criminal court. Criminal court. The judge also granted an order of protection against Madsen to Hart and the WWE security guard Thaddeus Jones. Madsen was previously busted in September for allegedly stalking mixed martial arts artist Harris Talunzich and Lincoln Police Department record, uh, record show. So he was found guilty of stalking someone. I, I honestly, guys, to be honest with you, I don't think that this man is all right in the mind. I don't know if, you know, he's had, you know, issues in the past. Actually, the, the article goes on to say his lawyer urged the judge not to set bail at his Brooklyn arraignment, arguing he was agreeable and cooperative and would be hard for him to come up with the money. Well, you probably should have thought of that about that before you jumped the barricade and decided to attack Bret Hart, but that's, that's besides the matter. But apparently this was... Um, he was released yesterday from his jail sentence, so I guess he posted bail. Somebody posted his bail, and now he is out, and I think he has another court date for today, so I'm sure he'll be sentenced and charged and whatever have you, so we are going to stand by and wait on more updates, but I'm sure I'll have even more updates for you guys as we go along, but this man, I guess, thought it was the right moment. I just felt like it was the right moment is what he told police, so I honestly, guys, like I said, I don't think this man's elevator goes all the way to the top, if you get what I'm saying. I just don't think that he is all there mentally, and if he is, then um, that would that would totally shock me. He definitely needs to be charged um, with assault. That was totally uncalled for, and, you know, it was a disgusting act by a person, but that is, uh, that is the newest update. So apparently he got sentenced or whatever, was held in jail, and then he posted bail as of to, uh, yesterday. So he um, he has another court date today, though. So I'm sure that, you know, today we'll get another update. I'm sure he'll get, you know, at least a few months, possibly up to a year, even longer, I'm sure, for these charges, depending on, you know, uh, the judge and, you know, everything like that. But if he has a good lawyer, who knows what this man could face. But that is your update on Zachary Madsen, the Bret Hart attacker from the WWE Hall of Fame. And that is pretty much all that I have for you guys today is just, I, th I thought that was just so strange. I just felt like it was the right moment. I cannot believe, that's an actual quote from the man that the police gave to the New York Post. So that is all for that. But thank you guys so very much for watching. If I get more updates, we will definitely dive into it here on the channel just because we've been following this case since the beginning. So why not keep giving updates as we uh, learn about this man and his, uh, his, his case against Bret Hart, the WWE legend. I think we owe it to Hart to, you know, keep up with this guy and everything like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.